Hello friends, I'm Mr. Dokkan Marianto. Today, I'm going to talk about this. This is the flower of the Rosella plant. And if you can see here, it's red. And it is only the flower. And you can see right here. I removed the clap, sorry. Not the clap, but the cap to make it clearer. Now, it is sweet pickled. How do I know? Number one, it smells like sugar. That typically tells you a thing or two about its sugar level. Like, uh, it's kind of weird, to be honest. Like, the, what is it? The smell? But, before I tell you the rest, subscribe to the channel to support us. Like the video if you like this video. Dislike the video if you dislike this video. And, of course, comment down below something. In case you want to comment down below something. Now, what can the Rosella plant can be made into? Not just including the flower. Number one, the leaves can be used for seasoning. The thing is, it's sour. And some languages literally name it as sour leaves. Can be used as seasoning, so that's number one. Number two, you can make soup. Yes, you can make soup. That's really made out of this. No, not not the flower. Of fruit in this case. Wait, is this a flower or, or a fruit? I think if you remove the calice or something, I do not know how to pronounce it. The insides of the flower, which is already now the skin of the fruit, I guess. You remove it, it becomes a flower. Uh, the insides grow again, it becomes a fruit. So yeah, I guess. Also the fruit. Yeah, it's not long lasting. It typically rots quiet quickly. Develops, not really, not really develops, but develops fungi a lot quicker. If then, if let's say this is either pickled or dried. And yeah, okay, that's soup. You can make jelly out of it. You can make pickles out of it. More accurately, sweet pickles like this one. And then. Lastly, you can make alcoholic drinks. You can either ferment it into wine, <laughs> or just mix it with other types of alcoholic drinks. <laughs> Beer, yes. Rum, yes. Other types, yes. I do not want to mention everything. <laughs> Partially because I don't remember. <laughs> I don't even read them anyways. <laughs> so I guess we could open it again, and then we're going to scoop it out a little. Now, typically, in Britain, oh, well, all, really, it's, like, I did not expect it to be this squishy. Kind of. Hey. Yeah, this is, okay, yep. Actually, you know what, I should have scooped a few. Not too much, though. Okay, yeah, that, that works, I guess. Hey, it slides with me. less friction than I thought. Put this away. Now you can see here the... Uh, oh wait, no you can't. It's ripped to pieces. Like, it's... It's composed of four petals. And then... Yeah, you can think of... This as a flower. It looks like a flower. But then once... The fruit is already developed, it becomes a fruit. The flower is still there. Except... Now, it's literally a main part of the fruit. Not just like on the bottom parts like you see in other fruits. Not like on just on the stem parts before the fruit itself, but on the stem. Yeah, this one, that's literally the skin, I guess. Or the protective shelling. So I guess we will taste it. Okay. Not as sweet as I thought. And much, much more acidic and sour than I thought. Hey. <laughs> it does. It's kind of more, more sour than oranges. The sour kinds. No, wait, oranges or lime. Lime, I think. 
yeah the small south and lime i think and by the way britain gets you know the fruit itself sent there during the christmas around the christmas times around christmas and guess what they use it to make alcoholic drinks and mix with alcoholic drinks i don't know why but the reason why alcoholic drinks is well quite there's quite a lot of them and then they just decided to make oh can we make alcoholic drinks about this well number one uh ethanol kills microbacteria and stuff that can kill you so yes it is pretty useful especially when you don't have access to clean water but then again now there's bottled water which wait bottled, bottled water tends to be you know having plastic <laughs> and also cost quite a lot for commodity that you should have and yeah that's why alcoholic drinks tend to quiet you know be invented from random stuff such as this <laughs> this is from west africa and yet they still think oh can we make alcoholic drinks from this yes you can fragment it you need yeast and then once they turn the sugar in this not this exactly because this is sweet already been have been sweet pickled which means very likely there is added sugar and when there is added sugar the sugar most likely isn't coming from the fruit or flower itself meaning that well it's not really you have just added sugar and yeah and then after that yeast dies because of lack of oxygen because they consumed all the oxygen inside a sealed container to produce ethanol and then you distill it if you want it to be stronger and then you separate it into three batches a few a few more and i guess we go oh yeah and it is also chewy kind of yep chewy well since literally every part of it is sour i guess you could use the flour to make you know the soups and such also i forgot to mention one more thing it can be used to make tea you, you just dry it and then you just crush it and then you just infuse it or actually i think that's tea or you can call it as an infused drink i guess but technically tea is an infused drink so and yeah there is two ways you could try this first you take it off once it's ripe and then you just dry it normally crush it and blah 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 your stuff but the second way and i believe it is the lazier way leave it to dry on your plant once it once it is dry take it off or just harvest it harvest it dry it some more if needed and yeah you got to try the thing now and yes now that i think about it i think the second one is better since you know you just left it leave it to dry on the plant and once you leave it to dry on the plant the only space that you will it will be taking up is the plant not some your roof or something else your garage whatever and yeah also in the case that you don't know here is a picture of well the flower itself and yeah i guess that's it thank you for watching and goodbye